Lori, can I come in? What do you want? I'm reading. I just want to talk to you. Didn't say yes, did I? Well, I'm already in, so it's too late. What are you reading? How to Lose Your Wife in Three Days by Tiger Woods. I read that. It's terrific. So I hear you and your mother are leaving in the morning? Yep, as soon as she finds a job. I can't believe it. I'm going to be the only one left here. You mean you and Stanley. Stanley's gone and he's not coming back. He didn't say goodbye? When you're Stanley's age, you just leave. I wonder if I go to a new school. Yeah, and you have to make all new friends. I don't care. I have friends anyway. Because you never leave the house? I can't because of my condition. You, you don't look sick to me. Do you even feel sick? No, but my mother tells me I am. Honestly, I don't trust parents anymore. But why would she lie to me? To keep you around. Once my mother finds out, she'll probably handcuff me to my bed. I wouldn't leave my mother. Even if I get married, even if I get older, I wouldn't leave her. Yeah, you know Mr. Murphy across the street? Yeah? He never left his mother, and he hadn't ended up going to jail. True, but this would have never happened if my father was still alive. How did you feel when he died? I remember. I cried a lot because I saw my mother crying. I hated it when my father died. The other day, I found his jacket in his closet, and I put my hands through in his pockets, deep in his pockets, and it was empty. That's when I knew when... He was gone forever. But we've both been gone, at least we have each other. Now that Stanley's gone, we'll probably have to move out of her house. Well, then you and your mother can come and live with us. So if we all end up live, living up together, what's the point of breaking up now? I don't know. I have to finish reading. You know what, Lori? I, I, sometimes I think the flutter in your heart is really in your brain. Whatever.